Hello everyone. In this video, we will use the Pandas skills that we have learned from the previous videos and build an end-to-end -end data pipeline that will extract data from a source, which can be an API or a website. Then we will transform it using Pandas functionality and then load this data to a server or a local file storage. In this case, we will save it locally and use that to visualize the data directly after transformation. I have built this dashboard that locates earthquake on a global map given the start and end dates and a minimum magnitude. When the user selects these values, it extracts the data from an API and then apply data transformation before visualization. So please watch this video till the end as using the skills from this video, you will be able to extract, transform, load, and then visualize your own data. For this project, we will download a list of Olympic medal winner data from the Guardian website. This is the link to download the data. We can download the data from this link. Again, the first step is to import the libraries. Here, we are using the request library for getting data from the data link. And we are using Plotly for plotting in this notebook. This is the URL we copied from the Guardian link. Now, we start a request session. And in that, we send a GET request to the URL. Then, we check the status and read the tabular data from the response using pandas read html method this reads the tabular data from the html we can look at the data frame that we downloaded it has 302 rows and six columns we can see the last row does not provide any useful information and there are missing values in the bronze silver and gold columns that we will replace with zeros the name formatting for the athlete currently is last name in uppercase, then first name, which is separated by a comma. We want to change it to first name and last name separated by a space. So these will be the transformation that we will apply to our data before saving. This is how we could remove the last row. If we look at our data frame, so now the last row has been removed. Then we can use the count method to list all the finite values per column. And here we can see that bronze, silver, and gold have missing values. That's why the total number of values is less than the values that we see in athlete and country columns. We can use the fill and name method to fill the missing values with zeros. To format the names, we can use this format underscore name function and then apply it to the athlete column. We can see the names are correctly formatted as desired. Now that we have seen what we want to do with our data, we can write functions for data extraction and transformation and loading steps. As in pandas, data pipelines are a series of functions chained with pipe method. So we first write the extract method, which takes a data frame and a URL as a parameter. And then we copy inside it all the code that we previously used to get the data from the Guardian website. Then we write the functions for transform steps, that is remove last row, fill missing values with zeros, and then update the name formatting. Finally, we write the load function, which saves the clean data to our local storage as a CSV file. Now we can create our pipeline. So we start with an empty data frame and then use pipe. And the structure of the pipe is that we provide the function and its parameters and then chain it to the next method in the pipe. The result of each process will be input to the next process in the pipeline. And finally, we will have our data frame processed and saved. Now we can load the saved file and run some analytics as the data is clean and formatted as desired. We can use the head method to see the first five rows 
Then if we want to find out the total number of medals per country, we can do so by using the group by method on country column and then calculating the sum and extracting the grand total column and resetting index so that we see the country and grand total appear as columns. So if we remove this data frame and run this, we can see that we have a new data frame with two columns, country and grand total. So we'll put it back and save it. Here we can use Plotly to plot a pie chart. Here we have Olympic medals by country and we can see the United States have 387 medals which makes 19.9% of the total medals. Similarly, we can plot a bar chart and we can do much more with our data. For example, if we want to see the top 10 medal winners for a specific country, here I use United States. Then we use the head method to see the first five rows. And we could use the count method to see the finite values. We could also check if the athlete name is unique. And we can see we get back 59 values, which is the same as we see in the count method. Now we sort the values by grand total and we set the ascending parameter to false and then we only select the first 10 values. That should give us the top 10 medal winners. This is the table that shows the top 10 Olympic medal winners for the United States and we could plot a bar chart. Top 10 Olympic medal winners and Michael Phelps is the one with the highest number of medals. This is all I wanted to share in today's video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you all in the next video.